Hello, this is Dr. Grant Cooper with another Office Hours where we are trying to answer the questions you've been sending in. This question was about uh, medication for nerve pain. Specifically, the question was, why would a doctor prescribe gabapentin versus pregabalin for nerve pain? So Neurontin versus Lyrica. It's a great question. Lyrica is a newer medication, so gabapentin is an older medicine. Gabapentin, also the trade name Neurontin, generic gabapentin. It's been around for a long time. It was originally developed as an anti-epileptic for seizures, but it's used a lot for nerve pain. And the newer medicine, Lyrica, is pregabalin, uh, is also used for nerve pain. Now, why would one choose one versus the other? The answer might be a little, little less satisfying than, than you might think. The reality is doctors just tend to be a little more comfortable with, with one than the other. Neurontin, there's a lot more different, there's a lot of different dosages that, that you can use. So there's a lot more flexibility in that. It tends to be a little more sedating. It tends to have a few more side effects, but the reality is everyone's different. And so it's not uncommon that somebody might try Neurontin first. And if that doesn't work, they might try Lyrica or they might try Lyrica first. And if that doesn't work, then they might go to Neurontin. Lyrica is supposed to have fewer side effects. I will say in my, in my own personal experience, with these medicines, I find it very hard to predict. People are going to have their esoteric side effects to different medicines. And so I think it's really important that you listen to the patient always and you just see what resonates. And if you're going to start a medicine, start at a low dose. Remember also that whether you're using gabapentin or pregabalin, these medicines are really there for symptoms and they're not fixing an underlying problem. So if you are using these medicines, ideally, you can use them for symptom management while you're also hopefully going about trying to address the underlying situation, the, under, the underlying pathology. But in terms of which medicine to pull from first, uh, honestly, it really comes down to which medicine a doctor is more comfortable with. And sometimes there's different side effect profiles for a specific individual. But for the most part, you're going to start at a low dose of one of those medicines if there are too many side effects or if it's not working for someone, then you might switch to the other one. And it's really not wrong or right to start with one or the other. You just got to listen to the person's body and adjust accordingly. It's a great question. Thank you very much. Please keep those questions coming and I will see you in the next one.